it's a windy windy day it's gray it's cold one minute it's snowing the next minute it's raining it's right on around freezing uh, zero degrees Celsius I think it pops up a little bit above that maybe to plus one and then it drops below uh, to maybe minus one right here we're sheltered within the trees within the forest if we look up to the top of the trees maybe on the GoPro we can see the trees moving in the wind uh, the wind is around 35 kilometers today pretty constant and we're walking through the forest we're walking down towards uh, Georgian Bay one of the Great Lakes here in Ontario Canada it's November the 22nd Friday hey it's just one of those days it's kind of gray it's kind of moody then the Sun comes out it's kind of bright then the next minute you're in a snow squall the next minute pouring rain Wow so you know what we're walking through this forest we're gonna head down to the shoreline we're gonna see what images we can capture today today promises to be amazing I'm already right in front of me looking at beautiful little uh, green kind of evergreens uh, spruces Christmas type trees with some golden leaves behind remnants of the fall even though it's still fall we're still four weeks away from the beginning of actual winter Wow hey let's get going let's see what images we can capture today it's Gary here with Gary Clayton photography welcome to my youtube channel yeah today promises to be exciting it's cold it's windy it's gray you know what it's amazing absolutely amazing I love the little trail system down here beautiful take a look see absolutely beautiful beautiful forest area man absolutely perfect it's around a 20 kilometer hike we're on today and we're gonna go up to a location that we've been up to before in Balm Beach there we're gonna grab a coffee at a local little kind of uh, convenience store slash cafe take a little break but today it's all about photography you know what even when we're hiking it's still about photography um, but hey again it promised to be just a beautiful 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 day this particular trail I'm on right this minute I've never actually been down here before so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, actually where this particular trail goes I normally go straight down to the shoreline and the beach area there's lots of things to photograph already lots of interest with the the dusting of white snow uh, again the remnants as I've mentioned of the of the golden leaves with the snow on the leaves Wow just beautiful absolutely beautiful contrasting colors amazing it would be a beautiful area to come through here and snowshoe when there's more snow on the ground that would be really nice okay let's get going let's see what we're gonna find today Perhaps you can hear the waves as they're crashing against the shoreline just at the other side of this row of trees this tree line we're still on the trail but making our way towards an area that's going to lead us to the beach what a beautiful 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 morning to be out it's exciting it's got character uh, the skies are angry again one minute heavy snow the next minute rain the next minute sunshine super interesting day today okay let's continue down this trail and let's see what the lake looks like today let's keep going so this is our first look of the lake this morning wow it's an angry lake and an angry sky howling winds cold cold temperatures man absolutely amazing wow the water level is very high I'm not sure if you can see in the GoPro 
Over in the distance, the ski hills of Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain, if you watch a lot of my videos or a regular viewer, you'll know we hike Blue Mountain on a regular basis. Uh, the Bruce Trail runs through Blue Mountain. One of the sections of the Bruce Trail is called Blue Mountain section. But the wind is ferocious. And the lake, well, it's just angry this morning. It's amazing. Okay. About two or three kilometers up the beach from here, we're gonna find some rocks that jut out into the lake. Maybe we'll find something there to photograph. They could be quite interesting today. Yeah, let's keep going. So, as we're hiking along the beach here on the shoreline, the wind is still quite strong, but it's backed down a lot. And with that, so as the activity in the lake, uh, I was hoping to find a location that would be really interesting with the higher winds, the crashing waves. But right now, as I say, it has backed down even though it's still windy. Uh, it's not as windy by far as it was maybe 30 minutes or an hour ago. Um, oh well, such is life. Uh, it's still interesting. <laughs> Um, it's still interesting, the water's rushing up on my feet there from the waves. Um, it's, it is still interesting, and I'm sure we're going to capture some nice images today, or some interesting character types. Okay, battery died, uh, we replaced the battery, and we're back online. Okay, one thing I should mention, maybe it was about, I don't know if it was a year and a half ago, two years ago, whenever, when they first brought out the GoPro Hero 7 that I'm using right now, I, I immediately, or almost immediately, upon the release of that camera, I purchased one uh, before that, and I traded in my GoPro Hero uh, 5 Black. Uh, and it was a stabilization that I wanted, and I'm very happy with the GoPro Hero 7 uh, Black. I've no, no interest in upgrading to the 8. However, one little drawback I've noticed uh, it has about half the battery life of my GoPro Hero 5 uh, Which is a bit of a drawback But I do carry three uh, GoPro batteries with me at all times So I'm usually okay But that is one drawback of this camera And in this cold weather uh, The batteries just just drain quickly the cold air sucks the power right out of them which happens to any battery not just GoPro but anyhow uh, okay so yeah we continue it's still windy not as windy we are somewhat sheltered here too uh, a little bit in a cove when we get around the other side hopefully we'll find those angry waters again the waters with character and emotion and feeling yeah because that would be really nice to try to capture those images today okay let's keep going so right here as we come up a little walkway if you will from the beach we come to this log uh, country beach home if you will and right next to it a beautiful little cedar fence and a nice little stream absolutely beautiful this stream is picture perfect it's a postcard kind of uh, stream especially with a little dusting of snow today so you know what I, I'm gonna set up the tripod here and I, I'm gonna try and capture uh, an image of this stream uh, because I think it's absolutely beautiful so let's try and do that stand by Okay, we're set up on the tripod, f11, focal length of 24mm, keep in mind this is a Canon 50D so it's a crop sensor, it's giving me a shutter speed of 1 13th of a second, 2 second timer, and there is my first image. Now, that's fine, nice, easy, basic image, nothing to it, 
we're going to slow things down a little bit plus we are getting a little bit of glare from the light on the stream we want to try to remove that glare uh, to do that we're going to add a polarizer so let's take the hood off let's apply a polarizer and let's see what difference the polarizer makes it will slow things down by about two stops of light and it will take away the glare stand by okay polarizer is now on the lens set to maximum polarization fingers getting really cold it's giving me half a second on the shutter speed two second timer bracketed shot once one stop under one stop over and one at what the camera tells me is correctly exposed two second timer three shots hey there's my image you know what I have no idea what that's gonna look like uh, we're gonna work on that in Lightroom as we always do by the way you know what I'm excited about trying out I am hearing some really really good reviews about Corel uh, paint shop 2020 I am going to download a free trial and you know I haven't downloaded that free trial yet but I'm thinking of doing that and I'm thinking of editing today's images in that particular program just to try that out so that's Corel paint shop and I believe Corel is a Canadian company but you know what I'm not 100% sure about that but it's Corel paint shop uh, it's a paint shop pro uh, 2020 and apparently it's about $79 um, to purchase this program it's not a subscription it's a purchase I'm gonna do the 30-day trial I'm gonna check it out and have a look but anyhow either way let's take a, this, a look at this image right now regardless of what we edited in Okay, so there's the image. I'm going to ma mention now, I'm going to write in now what I did edit that with, whether it was Lightroom or the Paint Shop uh, Pro 2020. Because right now, as I say, I just don't know. Uh, but just for a point of interest, I thought I'd put that on the screen. Um, so you could see which I, what I edited that, that image in. Okay, I want, to slow, slow, blah, 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 blah. I want to slow things down just a little bit more. So I'm going to use an ND filter. I'm going to slow things down to about one, one and a half seconds. I'm going to grab another shot and then we're going to carry on. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Only about a kilometer further up the shoreline from where we were taking capturing images of the stream we came through the rocks uh, in the water a tree ice forming from the branches of the tree the ski hills in the dip in the distance and a lot of character in the sky you know what to me this is absolutely amazing and beautiful excuse me if my nose is running super cold uh, okay, I don't want to spend a lot of time right here because it is quite cold and my fingers are absolutely freezing but I'm set up on the tripod so I'm using my Canon 50D my 24 to 70 mil lens I have my polarizer on there I have a 0.6 uh, ND filter and I have a three stop uh, soft edge graduated ND filter I have a two second timer There is my one image. That's the only image I'm going to capture. Oh, putting my gloves back on. Ooh. Yeah, I got my gloves back on. Um, it's the only image I'm gonna capture of that. But you know what? I'm gonna have so much fun editing that single image. Um, hey, absolutely beautiful. Wow. What a great day. Okay. So you know what? It's about Right now we're about seven or eight kilometers into, into this hike. About three more kilometers is where we stop for our coffee, which is good. Get my fingers warmed up there. And then we're going to do the round and eventually another 10 kilometers later, we'll end up back where we started. But before we do, there's gonna be lots more to catch. Let's get going. Continuing on our hike today, uh, we've come up off the beach. We're on what's called Shore Lane. 
This is the township of Tiny, Stutt Park. It's a little road, uh, homes on the water side and absolutely beautiful, beautiful little park. I do pass this way quite a bit when I'm out hiking uh, because I just like it up here. Um, and it's a great kind of training place, if you will, just to lay down miles for hiking. But it's a beautiful little park in there. And uh, I just wanted to kind of share that with you as we went by. We're going to be heading more further down the trail or further down this country lane. We're going to be heading back into the woodlands. And in the woodlands, there's a couple of areas in there that I do want to photograph. And the trail is going to take us right to them. So, hey, let's keep going and let's just enjoy this beautiful day, this hike, and the images that we may be able to capture today. It's exciting. Yeah. We're entering back into the forest and the trail uh, where we were earlier in the day, much earlier. Uh, by the way, we have some beautiful light just kissing the top of those trees. Absolutely stunning as the sun sets. The same ahead of us. Uh, but overall, much, much, much darker within the forest now. Um, here in Ontario, uh, this time of year, mid to the end of November, uh, the days here in, no here in Ontario, mid-November, this time of year, um, the days are pretty short, uh, really, uh, and by 4.30, it's pretty much dark. I'm guessing it's around 4 o'clock-ish right now. Um, the sun is definitely setting, uh, as we mentioned, or as we noticed, we could see the, the sun kissing the top of the trees. Um, but down here at the floor of the forest, very, very little in the, in the, in the way of light. And here's a gentleman with his hounds uh, that I've actually run into before. And these two guys are going to be all over us. Oh, look at that. Here you go, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Yeah. So there. Uh, there's a couple of Ontario hounds. But I didn't actually stop to pet them. And I know they seem actually quite ferocious, but they're not. They just <laughs> wanted some attention. I, I run into them on, on several occasions. They just want to say hello. Anyhow, as we continue, uh, we can see a little dusting of snow uh, uh, on the trail here. Uh, but pretty much the light in the forest itself has all gone. Can we capture an image in here today uh, to finish off the day? You know what? I don't know. However, there's still little spots of beautiful kind of golden leaves, dried, frozen, remnants of much earlier in the fall. Uh, and I like, I always like to photograph those. I'd like a little bit more snow on the ground just to accent them and maybe some snow on the leaves. Um, but having said that, I might set up and see if I can capture an image um, because I do like the uh, the kind of golden colors at the end of the season I really do it's just a matter of a, a composition that would be um, suitable and maybe where there is still a little bit of snow from earlier in the day let's see what we can find well Unfortunately, I left it a little too late uh, for the forest images. I was really hoping uh, to capture some color and some light within the forest. Um, and I know better. This morning when I went through there earlier in the day, I should have captured my images then because I had much better light. Now, there is no light. So, hey, that's about it for today. What we've got is what we've got. But what did we get? Well, we have the stream with the cedar fence. We have the rocks with the tree uh, and the frozen water, the ice uh, hanging from the branches. That's it. Nothing in the forest. 
we're just going to have to come back another day. Oh well, it's been a great hike. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, but you know what? I'm right now at my little car. I'm going to show you my little blue car. You may remember before I had a van. Well, I found I didn't actually need the van. And I sold it, traded it in, bought myself a much more economical small car, a little Chevy, little Chevy Spark. I've had this about a month now. Very economical on gas. Excellent little car. Totally delighted with it. Okay, you know what? We're pretty much ready uh, to go back now. So we're going to head back uh, to the studio. We're going to download these images. Don't forget, we're going to try that um, uh, Corel Paint Shop 2020. As I said, I think that's a Canadian company. And I actually tried their product and used their product years ago, long before I ever used Lightroom and Photoshop. So I'm interested in seeing their 2020 kind of version. I'm hearing it's pretty good. Hey, let's sit back. Let's have a cup of coffee. Let's look at those couple of images from today. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>